Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. We are starting this vlog off on a Tuesday again, and I am shooting content today with friends, so I have everything packed up over there. I just shoot this sweater for a campaign, so I'm prioritizing it first and wearing it first. And also today, apparently it's going to be up to 80 degrees and I was like terrified because I, I knew I had to wear the sweater but luckily we are shooting really early in the morning like 9 a.m. and it's like 52 outside right now so I think it's just gonna go up and up and up. I do have a photography session later tonight and then I'm kind of wanting to just like be outside. I feel like I need more vitamin D and just to be outside in the sunshine and also just to take advantage of the nice weather we have in Austin. So I might ask some friends to like meet up at the park or something. This morning we're headed out to South Congress to shoot the photos. I definitely have my go-to spots for taking photos. It's like South Congress, East Austin, downtown see home's a good one i mean those are like very vague spots because they're kind of big but i feel like if you know the spots you have like you know east austin hotel has like a cool neutral brick wall and you kind of just like find the places while you're driving around and then sometimes i'll like pin them on my map to make sure i don't forget where they are just got to south congress and i feel like i always find a spot here even if it's really busy of course you have to have some patience and today it wasn't that bad there's actually a lot of parking um because i feel like there's just not as many um uh what's it called work trucks like this place all used to be under construction so they took up a lot of parking um so that's nice it's kind of cleared out that way hi shooting again with sonali yes it is so cold we thought it wasn't it's not cold. that cold it's are we being dramatic cold. am i being dramatic this is like nice okay like i feel like in the nice. summer we're gonna be like uh i wish it was yeah <laughs> well, when it's hot we want it to be cold and yeah when it's cold we want it to be hot exactly okay we're just like scouting locations and this is like Abba over here in two hands. Kind of cute, kind of cute. We're trying to scout some locations out, but there's just always something it's like a working. little bit wrong. To be fair, I feel like Sonali's in a weird mood I'm, today. I'm going a little crazy. She's not liking anything. <laughs> no, and I'm being really picky about the background, so maybe I shouldn't be, but I just want like plain stuff. Um, but also the lighting's just like not amazing today at this time. Um, it's like really cool toned, you know? And the photos are just like not turning out as crisp as they want them to be. So I'm just walking around trying to find perfect lighting. What is this outfit? Like a fourth or something? I don't know. This has been like a long day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's good. like time is going by so slowly. We usually have so much fun. I know. And I feel like it's one of those days. Yeah, yeah. The lighting is just not. We we decided we're not ever coming we're back here. Shooting. So scratch. I literally was like, oh, South Congress is on my list of places to shoot. I'm like, mm. and I was remembering last year we filmed. We shot, shot here. here too, and same thing. Like all our pictures are very cool tones. Oops. They just now don't come during the day or like the, the morning. Never come ever again. <laughs> or not. We just wrapped the shoot and I feel like I was just like a little bit off today. Wasn't really feeling taking pics, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Especially because I had that campaign to shoot. But um, I want to go to Trader Joe's because I haven't been there in a while and I also really just need to get groceries badly. And I was thinking I'll just go to Uptown Cheapskate, drop these bags off. I literally have like three bags in here and I know we can only drop off two if we're not like waiting there um so I'm gonna go drop those off and then probably go to Trader Joe's I don't know I just feel really pooped right now so like I know once I get in Trader Joe's I'm gonna be like damn I wish I wasn't here and then that's not fun because I feel like grocery store shopping is fun usually when you have the energy. Also, I haven't eaten anything today. So you know what, maybe it's not a good idea to go to Trader Joe's right now, but I desperately need food in the house, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Definitely need to take these things to Uptown Cheapskate since I'm like close-ish to the place. Um, and then I have to come and get all the bags after they're done. Made it and I've never seen this parking lot busier. It was so hard to find a spot. I put Trader Joe's in my maps. It said like it was 10 minutes away. I was like, hell yeah. And then it took me to a different Trader Joe's, which I'm honestly not mad about because this is like the one in West Lake, I want to say. And it's actually a lot bigger. So I'm going to have a ball in there, but I haven't really eaten much today. And I know <laughs> I'm going to get kind of a lot of stuff, but honestly, I really don't have that much in my fridge. So Let's stock up at Trader Joe's. Hello. 
to get stuck here. Just got home from Trader Joe's and I thought we could do a haul. I went absolutely insane. I feel like Trader Joe's is usually like definitely affordable, but because it's so affordable, I'm like, oh, I can get this and this and this and this and obviously it adds up. So I am stocked up for weeks and I made sure to like think about, you know, what can be frozen. Maybe I can eat it like next week so I can definitely make it last longer, but I want to show you guys everything I got. So let's do it. I'll start with the frozen stuff. We got two of the mini cones because I can't remember which flavor I like better. The vanilla and the chocolate. These are my weakness. Ice cream sandwiches with the cookies. I know I said I would start cooking Indian food at home more often, but I couldn't pass up on the frozen ones because they're just so easy. So I got Pollock Paneer, which is like spinach and cheese. And then this lamb vindaladu, so good, more clear. And then I got some butter chicken. We also got this like Thai curry, Thai green curry, which I love green curry. So very excited to try that out. Um, this sounded just like really good and refreshing. And then I also got some orange juice. I used to love shrimp when I was younger. Then I started to get over it. But now I kind of want to get back into it because I feel like it's just like an easy way to add protein on like salads or just little bowls and stuff. I've never seen this kind of mushroom, but I wanted to try it. And then I got some tomatoes. I love this like medley of different colors. Soup dumplings. I'm really into salads lately and I wanted to try these two um, dressings. This is the green goddess dressing. I feel like I've seen a lot about this on TikTok. And then this is the vegan Caesar. One recipe I really want to make this week is this like lemony fish. My dad used to make it all the time. It's kind of like a Greek dish. And he always uses Branzinos for this. And I saw it was frozen and I was like, perfect. I don't have to worry about it going bad if I don't have time to make it this week. I am literally eating this right after this haul. <laughs> and it sounds so good. I also wanted to try some tofu. I don't know what I'm gonna try it in, but I'll keep you guys updated. Got some mozzarella balls, some fresh mozzarella with tomatoes, with balsamic vinegar, olive oil, oh my God, flaky salt, just sounds divine. Okay, one thing I love to get is Euro stuff. So I got some tzatziki um, dip, and I usually just put it all over the meat, and I already have frozen naan, so that was perfect. Salad is always better with goat cheese, so I got some of that. And then this chicken salad just sounded really freaking good, so. I also got salmon. I can always freeze this if I decide to do the Branzino this week. Um, this vegan butter, I love this brand called Miyoko. It's actually at like Whole Foods and like, all the fancier markets but this sounded just as good hopefully hopefully it's kind of similar um because it is a dairy-free uh butter um doesn't this just like look so juicy and good i got some cantaloupe and when i was in italy last year they would wrap prosciutto around cantaloupe and it was just amazing like the cantaloupes there were just the juiciest freaking fruits I've ever eaten and it was amazing. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. I saw this already marinated shawarma chicken thighs and I feel like this would just be an easy kind of like, I could do like a Greek bowl. I told myself I would get out of like the habit of doing like a veggie rice meat bowl, but I don't know if it's stopping anytime soon because it's just so easy. And then I got some peaches for like maybe smoothies. I was in need of some tortillas because I want to make like wraps and stuff, but I need to figure out what I'm gonna put in the wraps and then I can always go get like deli meat or something. Got some raspberries, because I love raspberries in my oatmeal. Arugula, I already have spinach at home, but I just thought arugula sounded really good. We got some sourdough bread. This always makes me think of my mom, because whenever I go home, I'm like, I want a piece of sourdough bread with like the butter she showed me, um, the vegan butter I was just talking about. Oh my God. I hit the jackpot, y'all. There was sumo mandarins. They're not oranges, and they're not as big as the ones that I had last year. And they were kind of expensive. It was like per orange, it was like, I wanna say $2, which was nuts, but they are so good, and I wanna try the mandarin ones. I was literally just talking about it with my mom because literally two days ago, I randomly Googled when is sumo orange in season, and it said January to April. <laughs> I was so hyped about it. Got some mini peppers because I actually have this like everything but the bagel dip, which is so good, but I wanted some more veggies to dip. Um, I feel like I just like to stock up on cheeses just in case, you know, you need it. And this one is dairy free. It's cashew cheese. I'm very, very intrigued. And it says great for melting. So you can use it on pizzas. 
And one thing I love to do, especially when Ryan's here, a really quick and easy dinner is to make like non pizzas. You can literally get the cheapest, yummiest non at Trader Joe's in the frozen aisle and then just make a pizza. It's like so good. Got some organic Turkish dried figs. I'm thinking I could put that on salads, almost like raisins. Okay, this just looks so good. I know I'm trying to eat a little bit healthy, but I don't want to restrict myself of sweets. So this is the sea salt brownie bites. I love anything with like salt on it. Sweet and salty is like my jam. Your girl had to stock up on her prosciutto, so I got three packs because they're always so cheap at Trader Joe's. And I just feel like this is like one of my favorite places to get it. This is the Euro meat that I get. I always like to get two when I'm there. This is Best by February 20th, and I can definitely eat these for like a lot of lunches and just like snacks. I also got some cashew, creamy cashew yogurt or yogurt alternative and the other day i bought some new granola that i want to try and i've been looking for dairy-free yogurt and like the regular like hcb -E just didn't have them i just got some mexican blend cheese just in case persian cucumbers for salads and just snacking got a whole bunch of mangoes i probably should have researched if these were in season but i am just craving to just dig my teeth into some mangoes so we're just really praying that they can ripen up. And then I got some pomegranates because this also sounds really great in a salad. I was thrilled to see these. These are macadamia salted nuts and they're just so good. Probably not the healthiest because I know they're like pretty fatty, right? Also, the other day my friend ordered fried artichokes at brunch and I was like, I'll try it, you know, why not? I loved them. And so I wanted to try them not fried, obviously, so I got this little snack pack. I got pearled couscous. I have quinoa and stuff, but I wanted to try that in like, you know, just a grain bowl or whatever. Um, I have had this before, the blueberry lavender almond beverage, and I can't remember what I thought about it, but I really want to try to put it in my matcha because I love when my matcha is sweet, and I feel like that would be a good little midday pick-me-up. Love Trader Joe's doll and all of their like lentil Indian like dishes like this. It's gonna be kind of pretty much similar. I feel like this one's even more of a grainy texture. I kind of like it though. When I was back home, my sister and my mom and I went to this restaurant where they had this sauce called Peri Peri. I think it was like a South African restaurant. So I think that's where it's from, but I saw this and I was like, ooh. One thing about me, you guys, I cannot, like, just, like, see a sauce on the grocery store shelf and not pick it up. Like, I am a sauce whore. Let me, let me just show you guys. Okay, like, this is an apartment. I don't, I don't need my cabinets to be this full. It is actually insane. All that sauces. And you know what I want to do one day is just pick a sauce and then find a recipe that goes with that sauce just so I can like actually have a chance to use it. Something in me, I just cannot stay away from the sauces. Okay, I saw this and it sounded amazing. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and probably have one tonight. Coconut water, sparkling coconut water with yuzu. That's like a citrusy lemon, I think. I also just love having just any kind of juice. I know people say don't drink your calories, but I'm like, I love a good non-water beverage at dinner. So I just got some lemonade. Trader Joe's flower section popped off today. I'm not sure if it was because it was like the Westlake location, but I was shook and I might not even ever go back to the downtown location. It's currently 2.31 and I have a photo session at 4 p.m. So I just need to put away all these groceries, eat my little wrap, and I can't remember. Oh, I need to post a campaign, so I'll do that. Right after I ate my wrap, I took another photo for the campaign I'm shooting. And that was like the last thing I needed to get done for that campaign. And I looked down at my phone because I was taking photos on my camera, but taking them like with the remote on my phone, there's an app that goes with my camera and everything. 
I looked at the time and I was freaking out. I was like, holy, <laughs> like I need to get the frig up and go because I have a shoot at four. And luckily I had 10 minutes to spare, but usually I put like an alarm that tells me like when to leave. And I forgot to do that today. So I was very lucky that I looked at the clock when I did. Um, but we are having our shoot at Maddie's, which is like one of my locations that I always shoot families, couples, all that kind of stuff. It's 357 and my couple is on their way. I did a little at home workout, took a shower, and now here is my dinner. I really just wanted to use up my spinach that I have before I like dig into the arugula. So I also have some cantaloupe, prosciutto, and then just like a whole bunch of veggies and goat cheese and then this green goddess dressing. Honestly, I don't even know if this all goes together, but it'll have to do. I think it looks good though. Good morning y'all, it's Wednesday and today was my first official day lifting and I kind of loved it. I randomly woke up at like 3 a.m. and started going on TikTok and then my feed was flooded randomly with like workout videos. I guess if I just like saved like two, then the algorithm thought I just like wanted everything to be workout related. But honestly, I wish it was like this like months ago because it really motivated me and I saved like a bunch of just like lifting workout routines because honestly I don't really know what I'm doing and I would hire a personal trainer but obviously number one that's just another expense number two I feel like I could just learn from youtubers like I know some people say maybe hire a personal trainer for like a month or something just to like learn the form and stuff so I'm not gonna say I will never hire a personal trainer but right now I just don't feel like it but at the moment I think I'm just gonna like learn from some YouTube videos but I did some cardio on the treadmill and then I did some glutes and some abs and I don't know it just made me feel really good and also I see what y'all are saying about how walking on the treadmill is just like not very efficient the one thing i appreciate about walking on the treadmill is that i can multitask and i can like edit while i'm being active but i totally understand now that you burn so many more calories i think i burned like 400 calories in 40 minutes and when i'm walking on the treadmill obviously it's like at a way slower pace like my heart rate's not getting you know too high so i'm not burning as many calories as fast so very very thankful for you guys who told me that i should lift but i need to keep it up i need to be consistent hopefully this motivation you know is lasting but i told you guys this year i'm gonna be more disciplined and i cannot rely on motivation so i'm very happy and hopefully i don't crash today that's like my only thing i feel like when i work out really hard i don't know how to keep the energy up throughout the day so if you guys have any recommendations for that please let me know um i also don't really drink coffee but i do love chai and matcha and that is where i'm headed today in the last vlog i told you guys i reached out to like a lot of my friends and i was like let's meet up let's catch up and i just want an excuse to get out of the house this is kind of like you know going to the office i guess meeting up with my creator friends and today i'm actually meeting up with a photographer she does weddings and also grad photos and probably everything but we're going to go to sun life i've had it i think twice before but i can't remember if i liked the matcha i did get a smoothie and i thought it was very overpriced so today we're gonna be trying the matcha again and of course i'll let you guys know what i think about it i was on south congress yesterday and I'm back, baby. Yeah, and I just got the matcha, so we'll see if 
that lives up to the hype. It's really great. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. So it's made with like coconut milk, and it's actually sweet enough. Oh, yeah. I was just telling her that I feel like they're not gonna make it sweet because it's a healthy place, but I asked for extra sweetener and it's really good. I'm still sipping on my matcha. Had such a good little matcha date with Lee, and now we are going to go back to Uptown Cheapskate because they actually just finished my buy. And they said it would be like 230 in cash and then 300 in store credit. Obviously, I want the cash. That's such a big difference, which sucks, but I'm glad they took a lot of stuff. So that's a win. I'm gonna go pick it up because I think I'm like 10 minutes away. And that's like perfect that I was already out of my house. Two birds with one stone. She got the bag, the bag and literal, the bag over there. And I brought in two huge, like recycling sized trash bags and they took like everything except for like a little half bag. So I'm just glad that they took it off my hands, honestly. So I don't really have to like worry about like that much stuff. But honestly, I was thinking I was so excited about getting like $200. Those clothes were way more than $200 and I know a lot of people say like oh you should do Poshmark or Depop or something like that. That just sounds like so much time. I've actually done Poshmark in the past and I feel like it just takes so much time to not just like take the photos but do the whole descriptions and stuff so I don't even know if it's like worth my time you know. So I'm glad I got that done. I might take that little bag to like Play-Dohs or something because I actually have a lot more on the back or maybe even come back here another day. Should I like drop the other bags off on here? I'm kind of wondering. I also need to take a lot of stuff to Goodwill, aka that Christmas tree. It needs to go. It's too sparkly for me and it gets everywhere. And then I have like a duvet cover in the back because I'm just trying to declutter the linen closet before Ryan gets back because that's like one of his closets. I have the bigger closet. He has the guest room closet, which is smaller, and then the linen closet, and then like like some cubbies in our cleaning closet kind of. And um, I just want to make sure that there's like obviously enough room for his stuff. He didn't really like take too much stuff home, so a lot of his stuff is like still in the place. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, create more room for more shit that we probably don't need. I'm currently uploading the photos that I took from last night's session. I'm gonna put it into Pixie Set and send that link over to my clients. But I'm forcing myself to film a fashion TikTok. I feel like I don't do these very often. I definitely want to do them more, but I feel like I just don't know where to get started. But I just need to do them and then maybe they'll just like keep rolling, you know? But this morning I got this idea to style a piece in my wardrobe that I don't really wear that often, maybe like never wear, never touch, and I have to revolve the outfit around that one item. It'll be beneficial for me to see the item in use in a cute outfit and then also it's going to be a series. So I know a lot of the growth TikTok experts are telling people to like create series because that's something that um will make a viewer want to come back and watch so i'm excited about that one and hopefully by the end of the series i'll actually use like a lot of my pieces more often than i do so the first item that we're working with that i don't wear enough in my wardrobe are these checkered bands and ryan actually told me to get these a while ago if you don't know ryan probably has better style than me most of the time i am asking him for advice on fashion and always before I buy like bigger pieces like my new balance 550s I remember him telling me like no don't get those get the dunks and I'm like I don't even want the dunks like I had to I had to go with my gut there because I just feel like the dunks are like lower and at least the 550s were platform so I really like a platform but anyways he told me to get these and weirdly enough later that month I was doing a, a paid brand deal with DSW and I was able to choose these as one of the items that I was going to style so that worked out perfectly but now I have them and I just really don't know what to wear with it because I wouldn't say this is my style even though I don't really know what my style is because I feel like it just changes with the trends and also I think I just don't really like these because I always want to wear socks with like sneaker type shoes and these require like those weird socks that always come off your heel and all that kind of stuff. The other day I actually did wear them without socks. It was terrifying but I did it and they didn't really smell that bad because I wasn't wearing them 
all day. But I'm going to go in my closet and see what we can find that goes well with this. And I'll share the finished outfit with you guys. Here's the outfit I came up with. Honestly, still very on brand because of all the neutrals. So top is from Nasty Gal. Jeans, I also haven't really worn in so long, so it's kind of a double whammy. These are from Abercrombie. It's the collab with Brie Shepard, and I just feel like I haven't worn crop jeans in a while, but I love the way these fit on me. And then, obviously, checkered vans. The hat is from Gorin Brothers. I got it on South Congress. It's like their farm collection. It has a really cute teddy bear on it, and it's like Sherpa. And then the bag is from Charles and & Keith, and it has this like cool quilted texture on it, so... That is the outfit. I feel like it's realistic and casual and I need to remember this outfit. I'll probably take a picture and like put it in an album or something, but I feel like it would just be so basic without all the accessories, which there are really only two accessories. I would totally add sunglasses too to make it that much more cool girl vibes, but I think I did a pretty good job. I changed the fit because I'm going to happy hour with my friend Beejel. We have never really hung out one-on-one -on -one outside of photo shoots because she's one of my blogger clients. I think I've been shooting her for the past year and she is the best. So really pumped for a little date. Top is Amazon. Belt is Amazon. These are one of my current favorite jeans. They're from H&M. They're like ultra 90s baggy. I don't even know. Um, and then the shoes are from Princess Polly. I'm also going to wear this bag that I've never worn, which is wild because I bought this in Venice, Italy. And I was really excited about it when I bought it. It's just a little hard to style because I feel like it has those orange undertones. But honestly, I wear all neutrals anyway. So like, I don't know if I have any excuses, but it is just beautifully made. So she's coming to happy hour with me. Okay, I headed out pretty early because I have to go send Ryan his car key because the man's bought a new car. Ryan has literally had four cars ever since his first car. What the heck? But I'm really excited for this new car. I think it might be my favorite and I'm only gonna show you guys when he moves back. So gotta be patient because that's when I get to see him for the first time. But I think he's trading in his car or selling it or whatever. So I have to send his key back. So I'm at FedEx and I thought I would send my fashion pass package back too. Warmer, but well, forgot it, it drops. Cold, it was hot as hell. Yeah, and but I was like, oh, I can, I can get away with like, I need sheer tights. I need to remember that the <laughs> temperature drops a lot. Good morning. It is Thursday. I did my workout this morning, and even by the end of the day yesterday, I was like, my hair's kind of gross. But I actually signed up for like this workout class, outdoor workout class on Saturday morning. So I definitely want to do like my full hair washing day then, but I usually do it on Friday. So to make it last like a day longer, I just decided to wash like the top of my hair. Like I have this little pony in the back, but I just wash with the top of my hair in the shower because I feel like this is the easiest to style. It just like goes really fast, but I didn't really want to style the whole head because I want to film like a sit down video and my apartment gets super, super sunny in the afternoon. So I just like want to get it done in the morning. So I'm just using my Dyson to like blow it out. And then I'll probably just like curl it with the air wrap, but it's working so far. Like I think it's going to be voluminous and like look really clean. Obviously like I did clean this part and this is the part that just like doesn't look as fresh. So we're gonna fix that. love doing the bangs with the air wrap or actually I don't really use the air wrap I use the um like the rolling thing what's this called a roller brush maybe just 
just gonna get it a little wet with some heat protectant and then I just take it under. Look how fluffy and amazing. Okay, now let's take out the bottom hair and see what we're working with. Hopefully it still has like a little bit of weight to it. Okay, not freaking bad for what my hair looked like last night. I just had my breakfast. I did like butter and toast and then a smoothie. I felt like I needed a little bit of energy to talk for so long because I feel like Filming sit down videos, they're honestly very draining. Like it's so fun because you're like talking about something that you're passionate about, but also because you're so passionate, it takes a lot of energy. How is it 1 p.m. and I just finished filming? I think I started like at 11. There's no way it took two hours. What the frick? Well, I feel like whenever I film sit down videos, I stutter a lot and that's not always fun because then I get really frustrated with myself. But we got it done, we got it filmed, and now since I'm like in good lighting, have my hair makeup done, I'm just gonna film some TikToks. And while I'm doing that, I will upload the footage. I'm uploading the footage, but I realized that I'm a little low on storage. And I have this application called Daisy Disc. I can't remember if I bought it or what, but I use it all the time to like clear out things that I don't need. So I literally have the Mac daddy of computers. I have two terabytes. It is insane, but very necessary. So usually you'll just click scan and look how much I have in my downloads. I also have a lot in movies because obviously I do a lot of video editing. And then I think for some reason my Lightroom catalogs might, no, wait, the Lightroom is on my external drive. So I don't know what that's about, but um, the downloads, are insane so i'm deleting all of these more than seven thousand items that is insane we're gonna move them to the trash and hopefully this will clear out a lot of unneeded files because all of these are literally just iphone clips that i airdropped to my computer to add into my vlogs or just like iphone videos that i need to edit the tiktoks for so we are going to move it to trash and hope that nothing important is in my downloads i really don't think there would be but I wonder how long this is gonna take. I used to delete files and I thought that would magically solve all my problems. And then I realized that even the trash needs to be emptied. So we have, let's see, more than 8,000 files in my trash. Let's empty this. Guys, downloads used to be 430 gigabytes and now it's nine. Let's see. Wow, that is a beautiful sight to see. Now I just need to get my freaking external to that place. It's a lot later. We are going to make some dinner right now. Let's do some mushrooms and some salmon. Pretty basic stuff. But like, I don't really need to give you guys an explanation because I think I'm just going to cook them with some random seasonings. Um, I hope that they turn out okay. But I'm currently starting a new show called Revenge. My friend recommended it because it's like located in the Hamptons. And she said it was really good. I actually just finished Bridgerton season two last night. I didn't actually watch season one, but because the girls are Indian in season two, I really wanted to watch that one. It was pretty good, but like it only really got super good at the end. And then it ended. And honestly, that's the worst part when your show ends and you're like, oh, just got good, you know? So hopefully Revenge is good all the way through. And then I also wanna watch the Bold Type. I've been hearing so many people say that's a good show after um, the girl from the second season of White Lotus, Megan Faye. I think she's in the Bold Type, apparently. So, and it just seems like a fun girly show. I love little girly shows like that. Um, with like some drama. So anyways, I'm gonna cook these mushrooms up. I'll probably do the salmon in the air fryer just to be able to multitask and not have to think about it. <laughs> Salmon's cooked. Now I'm just gonna add some lemon on top.
Good morning, you guys. I made some overnight oats last night. I feel like it's turned into like chia pudding because I put so many chia seeds in it. I'm gonna put some raspberries and banana and then of course peanut butter. This morning, I'm going to meet up with the girls from Sunday Riley. Um, last year, like in September, can't believe it was that long ago, honestly, but last year I hosted an event with Sunday Riley. We did my dream dinner party, garden party, whatever you want to call it, and it was at Elizabeth Street Cafe, which honestly I've been thinking about. I need to go back there for their happy hour because everything's like super cheap and I love their food. It's so good. So I think I haven't seen them since that which was a long time ago. So I'm excited to catch up. I really wanna get matcha today. I might change my mind at the last minute, but I've learned my lesson and I cannot drink matcha on an empty stomach. It is very gloomy today and I guess my outfit's matching the weather because <laughs> I'm all gray. Um, but I think I got this from Nasty Gal like a while back. Then I'm just wearing a set active little one shoulder set active leggings. And then my favorite New Balance is actually I don't know. I have so many favorite New Balances, but I love New Balance sneakers. They're really cute. I just realized that I feel like all of my outings this week were to go to South Congress, and there's like so much more to Austin than South Congress, so I apologize because I, I really just don't know how that happened, but <laughs> next week we're branching out. It was honestly just a random coincidence, I guess. Today we're going to Manana, and I've actually never been to this location on South Congress. I've been to the one in Seaholm, which is their newer location, but I really, really liked the chai, and then there's like this pastry I like from them. I don't know if I'll get the pastry because I just ate some oatmeal, and I feel like I'm good on that, but that could definitely change when I see it like in front of my face. It is a lot later and it's still gloomy outside. I feel like in the mornings, it's always kind of gloomy during the winter and then it gets really, really bright. But I have found that I feel like I'm more productive on these days because I feel like the sun coming through my apartment just makes me so sleepy. So I did have a lot of editing to do and I didn't do it, but I did make a new Pinterest account for my photography page. And I really don't know why I haven't been doing this in the past years because i have so much photography content but honestly like putting the descriptions keywords hashtags all of that on pinterest is just really time consuming but i really want to start being consistent on there so i made a whole separate photography account just for my photos and then i could like pin other photographers photos and like inspo and stuff like that um because i just want to keep like my personal brand and my photography brand separate because on my personal Pinterest account. I did pin like some grad photos in the past. I just haven't really been that consistent on it and I am excited to see if this is helpful. If they get saves, if it's like helpful for other people for inspo, maybe it'll create brand awareness, which is really what I'm hoping for. Um, but I've been working on that. Also, I've been a little discouraged on TikTok this week because my views have been shit and I feel like whenever brands reach out or want to work with you they definitely look at your past few videos so i've been a little worried about that but i just made a tiktok about some amazon finds that i've been really liking recently and it's doing really well it's a photo carousel and i know that's currently being pushed so maybe that's why but i also feel like i have a lot of followers from all of my amazon videos so i really want to get back into it because i mean i'm still buying stuff on amazon it's just like not as often but i did buy some more gel x stuff so Stay tuned for that when I redo my nails. I literally just got a text from my friend Natasha. She was like, I'm on my way. And I was like, what? And I forgot I had dinner plans at 5.30. She texted that at 5.26. I literally called her right away and I was like, hey, did you leave? Because I kind of forgot. But we're just going to push it back like 15 minutes. I'm going to leave right now. And I'm actually very happy that I planned some dinner plans because I just need to get out of the house. I know I was going to slip into some sadness if I was alone the rest of the day. So very, very, very happy that I get to see my friend Natasha and catch up because she's been in New York for a while. With Natasha. You know what? I, I realized that I I put, did put it in my calendar, but I put it on Sunday. Oh. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just like multitasking when I did it, but I feel so stupid. But we're here now. So cute. 
Of course, I needed to get out of the house to be honest. I got the Cuban and then I got some gumbo, which I'm so happy that she said I could do a side of this because I was actually looking at this originally and it just sounds really good on this gloomy day. And then what'd you get? I got the cherry tart salad. It has dried cherries, pecans, arugula, feta. Wow. All the good stuff. <laughs> good morning, it is Saturday. I'm sorry for the morning voice. You guys are the first people I'm talking to, but I am doing a workout class this morning, which is very unlike me. But I got invited to this event because it's um, for a new studio opening up here in Austin. It's not at the studio just yet, but it's at this place called Skybox right above like Mayfair and Bull and Bull. And they are just like promoing their new studio. And honestly, I usually say no to any kind of like fitness events just because I don't love working out but I am trying to get better about that and just like force myself to try new things number one and then also to you know work out um, but there's also brunch afterwards at the well and I've been dying to try their brunch I've had their dinner but their brunch looks like insane so that's gonna be my little reward afterwards and I invited my friend Andy so she's gonna be joining it's kind of another gloomy day here and it's also kind of rainy luckily the place where we're going to it is outside but they have like a full-on covered um, venue so at least we won't get rained on I brought this hat out of hibernation it's been in Ryan's closet actually so maybe that's why I didn't really remember that I had it but this is like the ACL um, uh, what's it called aviator nation hat that I got when did I get it 2021 I think because we didn't go last year to ACL I usually do separate weekend in my life's but since I didn't vlog on Monday I thought why not add it to this week in my life I'm with Andy we're heading in to skybox we're up here it's freezing we have a full house if we wanted to. But they just had food out for us and so we got a little food in our systems and then I really want to try their matcha because I've heard it's like a really good one and I don't know if I'm being dramatic or not but I feel like maybe that was one of the best matchas, maybe top two. It was really good. I sweetened it with maple syrup and Andy said that they use their own or they make their own. They make their own cashew milk. Cashew milk in-house. It was really good. Yes, so Very good milk. definitely gonna be uh, sweetening my matcha with some maple syrup when I'm at home. It is Saturday morning, and so in Republic Square, they have a farmer's market. I actually usually go to the Mueller one. Have you ever been there? I've never been. Hey, we should, go. we should go. I love the Mueller one, but I've never been to the one Saturday right downtown. And a while back, somebody said that they had really good chai concentrate, so I'm gonna be on the hunt for that. We're not having any luck finding this chai. Maybe they're not here today, but also this place is just not as big as the Mueller one, so. I don't know, maybe they just aren't here anymore. Sad. We were done with this in like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But can you like, it used to be so much smaller. Yeah. <laughs> like it literally, I remember I came here like 
like a month, no, sorry, like a year and a half ago or something. Yeah. And it was, like, there were like five people. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> well, it's grown, I guess. <laughs> Guys, we made it to hair washing day. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to do like a hair mask because I have like so much time today. Um, I definitely need to get the editing done that I didn't do yesterday. Okay. Um, but I don't have any plans tonight, which is not good because I feel like I should just not be alone in my house all day. <laughs> so we'll see what I get up to. First, I'm using this product from Vegamore. I had actually been eyeing this for so long because I originally bought the Divi hair serum for hair growth. The bottle is so small and it literally ran out, I want to say like within a month. Um, so I wanted to try this one and see if it was any different. It is pricier, like it's a hair growth serum and they actually reached out to me like two weeks later and I was like, what the heck, that is so funny because I was <laughs> going to ask for this for Christmas. But I've just heard really good things about honestly both companies. I'll be honest, I haven't really been as consistent with this one, but I want to try to be. And it really does not make your hair feel greasy at all. It's just like gets it a little bit wet, but then it obviously dries. I'm just going to massage it into my scalp. My legs are shaking and I think I said this before, but I was trying not to work out too much yesterday because I didn't want to be too sore for this workout. The day before Thursday, I was doing some upper body workouts and my back of my arms like from these ones still hurt and there was this one move like the crab walking thing you didn't really walk but it was just like you were holding yourself up with your um hands turned behind you oh my god i literally just could not do the move because my back of my arms were so sore but my legs are now feeling it too so i feel really good burned some calories had a little healthy breakfast i really hate that i get into phases of like working out because I want to be consistent and I feel so good when I am consistent, going to the gym, like actually eating good foods. It's so hard when you like fall into the trap of, you know, maybe missing a workout here and there and then eating out more. So this year, I just really need to be more consistent with everything. And all of that starts with the little daily habits that we're trying to work on over here. I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for a little bit and just like clean up around the house because I feel like the counter is kind of a mess. I need to like break down some boxes, all that kind of stuff. And then we will wash the hair. I ordered my favorite like little packets of rice on Amazon. Because I always see them in the store and they just like look so much more expensive and I feel like they're probably cheaper if I buy it in bulk. So this is like my favorite rice. Okay, the brand Seeds of Change and I really like this one. I've actually tried like the quinoa one. It just was not as good. So now that I've tried one, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to stick to the, the blue one. Um, so I'm just going to take it out of this package and try to find some room for it in the pantry. One of my favorite meals and super, super easy meals that's an Indian dish is heating up one of these 90 seconds in the microwave and then taking like any dal or lentil little dish like this. I got this one at Trader Joe's. I think I've seen like similar ones at Whole Foods and like Central Market, um, but you just add some ghee, you just add some salt, and that is my easy comfort meal. My mom actually showed me how to make dal from scratch, so I need to attempt that soon <laughs> because one of my goals was to make some Indian food from scratch at least once a month, and um, we're hitting the end of January. I have not done that yet, so I actually need to do some research and see what I even want to make because I have a lot of ingredients right now. So maybe I could do something this coming week. How is it already 5 p.m.? It does not feel like it. It feels like it's two or something, but I just got a lot of editing done and I was like on a roll, so that felt really good. And now I don't have to worry about it last minute because sometimes I find myself on Sundays editing my whole week of my life on Sundays, which is like two hours of footage usually. So that's 
never fun. I didn't export it yet. I just have to like add music and that's it. But I wanted to try this uh, drink with you guys. I got from Trader Joe's. It is this um, coconut sparkling water with yuzu. And I honestly forgot I had this. So let's try it. It tastes very tropical. Almost like an alcoholic drink maybe? I don't know if I love it, but it is very, very refreshing. I'm glad it came in like a small pack of four so I don't have 12 of them or something. It really isn't bad. Maybe I just need to like get used to it, but I am going to chill on the couch for the rest of the day probably. I did not end up making plans for tonight unless I do something really spontaneous, which I don't see in my future because that would require me to probably put on some makeup and I just don't really feel like it today. But I do feel really productive that I got a workout in and edited a vlog. I have my favorite candle on right now and I just popped some popcorn. So looking forward to chowing down on that. But I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. And if you guys are interested in more content for me, I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, like literally everything. Um, but majority of my accounts are so underscore gnarly without the G. So go ahead and follow me over there so you can keep up with me throughout the week and you don't have to wait till Sundays to see like everything. If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment the best thing that happened to you this past week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.